was uh, well, it's dead calm, freezing cold. I just got that that really sharp nip, you know. You you, you can feel it, like oh, it's really cold. But oh, there was no breeze. I think if it was a breeze, that would be really bad. Uh, yeah. So. Thanks for the ideas, and Glenn, Glenn, yeah, I know what you mean, but uh, my plan is, I'll show you, if I can see down there, my friend Nigel got me a load of old scaffolding boards, which were no good, and because I can't find online bungs, they look like that one's bloody leaking, that's the one I got in and all and tightened up, I can't find bungs. But I wanted to put about four foot wide from them tubs all the way along here a bed, a raised bed. You know, about about three scaffolding boards high, about four foot wide and right long. And I wanted to uh, then use it as my look at this lot, look at this lot, buggers. They've all been mitered, you see. I put my on everywhere and sprayed them. And I've actually now, I, I, it's my period of my time to uh, I put some worm in there. I put some, uh, uh, like an organic pellet. You put it in with their food and they pack it away and that clean the systems out. And uh, I'll tell you what, they know how to charge now. Yeah, what I was saying is that I'm going to put a raised bed, I suppose it's going to have to be two foot away from that edge because it won't be long before the you know, weeds and grass will start to grow under that lot. I thought about putting a membrane up, but then again I thought, no, no, little hedgehogs and that can get under there, whatever. Yeah, so, possibly the width of one and a half of them tanks. So I've got a path down this side so I can go along the side. And uh, I was going to put all my let lettuces in it. That's what my plan was, lettuce and uh, spring onions, things like that. Right, so that's that bit. I ain't got a clue what I'm going to do today because I just don't know. I might go down and try and move some of that into the compost bin. I have got to go over and nick a couple of more barrels. Well, not nick, but they know that I've got to take them. My, my secretary come up yesterday, he said he's got three more if I want. I've got a thousand litre tank here. It's got to be emptied. As you can see, it's caving in at the bottom. So, we're going to crack on with something. Well, right, guys, I found a job today. I've been putting off, but well, I'm digging my old strawberry canes, a strawberry plant up over there. I've got some cardboard in the back of my van. I'm going to cardboard it, and then I'm going to put a black membrane over top of that. Because I still kept getting a weed through, come through. But that's a bloody bind weed, isn't it? You know, so... Uh, I'll get them all out. I've got some replacements. I'm not looking too happy at the moment, but I just don't know whether to do it by a... Because the last time I'd done them, 12, 12 inches apart around and that, and they did bush up very tight. I thought about just doing sort of one long row and then another long row really tight, so perhaps we've got more, more strawberries. I don't know. Anybody's got any ideas on it? Let us know. You know, it's a strange, strange day. You'd think it's freezing. Well, I was freezing cold when I come up here, but I've worked up a sweat now. That's me, I've only got to do a bit now and I get hot. <sighs> right, guys, I'll show you when I've finished it and cardboard it up. Right, there's the cardboard down. Just got that section to do. And then next year, when I start to move this side again, I'll do the same. I'll put a black membrane over top of it. I've got some heavy duty pins which to pin it down. But you've got to make sure I try and block all the light. If I have to, I'll put some more across. I have got some more. That'll make no difference with double thick. I'll cut into it then. And, uh, yep, what I'll do is cut into it. Uh, hang on. So what I'll do is I'll cut into it. Once I've got the black membrane on the top and replant with some uh, runners I took of uh, 
got my last barrel and that's in place that one I'll find somewhere to put up an end or something I won't put it in that open where that blue one is the blue one's got holes in so it's no good so I've got six barrels So there should be plenty of water, and if I can keep topping them up when they all get low. Uh, great and miserable, everybody's decided to have fires, one fires. So, we are getting places. I've got a spare half barrel down there, which I'm going to put compost in, uh, put cardboard in, big thick layers of cardboard in the bottom, put a load of good compost in, and fire a load of carrot seeds in. I'm going to just throw carrots about everywhere because I will store. Listen to this lot. This is a great car. She's beauty. Oh, she's a clever girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Yes, I've stuck some. Uh, we just noticed the difference in the colour. What they are is an uh, organic pellet to go through the uh, digestive system and the stomach to keep them clean and healthy. Bent over now. We'll close that one up. Come on, guys. We'll close this up. So it's getting lighter in the mornings now, so they're, they're spending more time in, up in, in the house. Oh, Alright, so I managed to do a little bit. Look at that. She's a beauty, isn't she? But she's still too timid. Right, so that's them done. Yeah, that barrel will go somewhere. Get a raised bed in there. Probably the one, actually, the width for this would be handy, I believe. Oh, so just waffling, I am sorry. If I go there, here, that gives a path either side. See that bloody bar? It's <laughs> a bugger, isn't it? I'm hoping it might stop it. I don't know, if not. I'll pump it into the next one and get inside the blow my finger. I was inside it the other day. And try and get something on it to tighten it. Right, coffee time. Alright guys, I've had enough now. I've just been sitting having a blow and cup of coffee for ages. So that's gonna be the width. That'll probably be one. I'm gonna remove this, empty this one out, and then I'll have another one joined straight onto it. With salads and all that lot. So this area will then become clear, more clear. Chickens are all in, they're happy bunnies, or chicks. Uh, I've had enough. So that's uh, another day going in my life. Stay safe everybody. Thanks for watching, commenting. Subscribe. Just nice to see that number going up. Right, stay safe everybody. I've watched a lot of videos last night. Bye for now. Uh, morning, Tuesday morning. I've been up here since about 10. As you can see, dull, miserable, crap day. Right, I'm going to get on with this. I've got some more cardboard down and what? Just put over them joins so there's no light getting through as tall as possible. Then I've got a roll of membrane there. I'll put that over. I've got some step, some of these big staples you get. I've got some of them, and I'll uh, I'll get it covered. In the middle section of that, you need it and all, but that's for another year. All right, guys, off we go. Right, guys, I've stapled it along the back edge. That staple seems to have no hump in it anymore, so I've got to get my uh, hammer just to hammer the rest of them in. Then I've got some of these little big staples to knock through along the seam here to join it up, and that's that section done. Oh. The job for the day done. Abby jabby. Right. Alright guys. That's that job finished. I just got a trim out at the end there. 
I'll put these uh, metal staples all the way along. I'll let it settle down now. Once the carboards start to get wet, that'll sink a bit more. <sighs> then, I'll figure out whether I do. See what I've done this side, I've done a, them green lines, there's three rows I've done, but we found that they were really sort of a lot stuck together, so I might just do one outer on either side, leave the green one in the middle. Or stagger them, something like that, I don't know. Off we go. So, that's what it's going to be like right there. I don't know what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll tuck some wood on to cut to that length. Uh, one, two, only four actually, bloody hell. Oh dear. I better put some more in the van. I should be able to then get down both sides of it. Should be alright. And what I'll do is I'll screw it up, get it in position, I'll line the bottom. I will probably line it with a uh, Enviro mesh membrane to stop, try and stop anything getting through and staple it around the edges. Then I will line the sides with black plastic. And then what I'm going to do is then sieve this into it. So that's good, perfect stuff. I'll, what I'll do, also do is I'll mix blood fish and bone in with this pile so then I can should be able to get all that nice and level it's quite up here it's dull miserable and everybody's moaning up here about the new rules about cyclists and things <laughs> tell you we're all on country lanes you got one cyclist you can forget about going anywhere it really there's more cars than cyclists I know they want to make them uh, more people cyclists that's why I believe there should be dedicated cycle lanes form but where we are because we're in a rural area we go put that in the back streets you go around the bend and there's some old boy and he's all over the road I worry sometimes I see him I think it's about time then they really had to have insurance no he really should that's my little rent all right I better put some more wood in the in the bloomin van oh, guys that's all saying sorry about that oh, yeah. uh, Ask someone to leave the gates because I'm coming out behind. Them. Yeah, so it'll be seven by uh, seven by four, possibly. So then I'll empty this one and possibly put a, another one. Perhaps I'm going to have lettuces, so I'll cover, it, put some posts on the sides. I think so I can put a net over. Oh, I have got some blue pipe and got plate of that actually. Uh, so and then the end there is uh, self sown uh, sunflowers in there. So I'm going to leave it. I'll top it up with a bit of manure or whatever. But yeah, I'll get this done if I can tomorrow. Then I'm thinking to get my big rotavator out and go back over everything to cut it up a bit more. I'm waiting for my one circuit of spuds and they arrived, they've dispatched them, so I hope they ain't blue and lost them. Alright guys, I did a little clip yesterday, so I will uh, put this up tonight. Thank everybody for commenting, Terry. Everybody else, please stay safe. Uh, I'm glad that you've uh, New Zealand New Zealand uh, spinach. Hmm. My wife said, "What are we going to do with that?" I said, "We're going to need it." What do you think? Right. Tony's Tony's over there. He's <laughs> double glazing that greenhouse he's been building. He's got some polycarbonate sheeting, so he's double glazing that. He's a boys. I'm still debating whether or not, you know, I want to take this one on, but I'm debating, I'm getting, getting told off by the wife and that, that I'm taking too much on, but there's a there's a asparagus bed there where the poo is, there's all them lovely fruit trees I didn't want to see cut up, I could fill a lot of this up with onions and stuff, but that's keeping on top of it, and Tony's going to get me a truckload of uh, wood chips, so I'll put an edging along here and be able to park. You know, that's just. Tony said he'll keep the all trimmed and that for me down there. 
what will probably end up happening is that he will probably have the sheds and all there, do something with them. Right, guys, I'm now going to go. Please stay safe. Uh, we're... Oh shit! Bloody drive off with that on top of my van. The old girl I've been doing that do it do a biscuit. In. Yeah, stay safe. It's nice to watch lots of videos at the moment. Yeah, I've been watching quite a lot. Never thought, Terry, about using a tablet. I might, I might have to get my old one out because that's old. Bye for now, stay safe.